Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, this is going to be my September favorites. So for the month of September, I don't have that many favorites. <laughs> and also, I'm not really like shocked. I mean, I'm, we're all in like this stay at home type of thing. I know California is, even though some people are listening, some people are not, we're not gonna get into that. But I know I have been staying home a lot and not really doing much but you know so let's just hop right into these favorites i do have favorites in the beauty category and then like books and other stuff <laughs> so for the beauty part the first thing that i do want to mention is this product i talk about this product a lot and this is the Juno & Co. Bombshell Palette. I love this palette. If it's anything that you get from the Juno & Co. collection, I would definitely get this bombshell palette. If you're of a medium to dark skin tone, that's what this is for. If you're on the light to medium skin, skin tone, they have the Cherry Bomb Palette, which, of course, I haven't tried that one out, but if this one is amazing for medium to darker skin tones, that one must be amazing too. Next product is a deodorant and it's an um, aluminum free deodorant and it's called Type A and this is what it looks like. This is a sample size I've been using and technically there's been a lot in this sample size which I'm surprised because it says that it is um, 0.5 ounces or 15 grams. Um, it says, you know, it's called Type A, if I didn't say that already. Aluminum for deodorant, sweat activated technology. This stuff goes on like powder, I would say. Like it's like a kind of wet, but not too wet and more like a powdery. So it goes on the arms and it feels like you're not wearing nothing. And then I feel like you, when you start to like sweat, you, you still doesn't, it still doesn't feel like anything. It really feels like nothing. It's very interesting. Um, but I have been liking this because if you don't know, I do use um, antiperspirant free, aka aluminum free deodorant because I have sensitive arms and I have eczema prone skin and that works great um, for me. Product is this. And this is the Mirror um, Vitamin C Daily Moisture and it has SPF 30. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Even though it has SPF 30, I do sometimes use it at nighttime. It all depends. I love this type of vitamin C cream because it's not like the other type of vitamin C cream. It's like so vitamin C E and then smells like vitamin C E. This one kind of smells like, it has a citrusy smell, but it's not like overpoweringly citru citrusy. I am wearing this today under, of course, my makeup, but I do really, really like, um, this moisturizer so beauty product has to be this one i talked about this one on my channel share with you guys when i got this product it will be in the cards and down below bare minerals skin longevity um it says long life herb serum so it is a serum and for having this for how long have i had this for i know it's been over a month i think i got this in August whenever that video went up um, that's how long I've been using this and look how much is still left I'm literally like right here and you don't need a lot of this I do like one pump two pumps depending I do like usually one for my face and then if I need more for my neck um, like decollete area I will get some more but I completely love this stuff it's so light it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything and that is so the next two products are actually books I don't talk about books on this channel channel that is a booktube channel and I will have that linked so you guys can check that out and that's where I talk about all the books I'm reading and new books I bought and stuff like that that's book related which I'm thinking about adding planner stuff on there I'm not really sure I don't know um, <laughs> but yes, we're going to get into the planner in a bit, but for the books I do want to share with you guys, I read these books, not in the month of September, I, I read these books in the month of August, 
but I never like talked about it since I wasn't doing favorites on this channel so I did want to you know share it with you guys so you guys can check out um, some books maybe you guys want to read it this fall um, I don't know <laughs> but yes um, so the first book is this one and this is a wrinkle in time I heard about this book and well I heard about the movie and then I heard that it was also based on a book I haven't watched the movie yet but I decided to pick up the book and read the book first and then watch the movie and since I read this book and I completely love it I gave this book literally five stars it is so so good I don't want to ruin it for you or anything this is a book you should definitely check out another book you should check out that which is basically on like a whole nother level like this is more um a wrinkle time is more like a mystery um of course it's like a young adult type of book um you know but there's like more of a, an experience with it the next book gives you an experience but in a whole nother light um this one is called i'm telling the truth but i'm telling the truth but i'm lying by bassy ickby um this book is based on a true story it's based on um bassy ickby's life it's a short essay so it's a whole bunch of essays and this book it's into mental health a lot going with um what she's going through so that is basically a trigger warning it took me forever like months after I got this book to read it because I personally wasn't in the right headspace and then with this whole like pandemic and stuff happening I definitely wasn't in the right headspace but then I was like maybe if I read this book it will help because then it will make me feel like I could relate to somebody and it really really did this book will have you laughing because her stories are hilarious like they're super funny but then because they're you know they're based on her life so they're super funny but then they're also like triggers or you start bawling crying because you feel bad for her and then there's like stuff that you could relate to so it'll have you like basically on up a down roller coaster um but it is one of those books that I do highly, highly recommend you guys read or check out or listen to. You know, audiobooks are a big thing. This is does have an audiobook um, type of thing. So, yes. The next thing I want to talk about, which um, my little paper clip fell off. But I love this paper clip. This should be in my monthly favorites. Also, is this little paper clip. Um, I think it's by needles and something i will have her, her um name on the screen but it's super super pretty like look at that oh my gosh i love it um i also have another one from her and it's this one and this is mama bear it looks like that um but what i really wanted to get into those are also like my favorites i'll have them linked down below for her etsy shop but i wanted to get into this planner this is going to be my planner for the end of this year and into next year, I'll be using this Rainbound Planner. This is a Kiki K one. I did get this one previously loved. Um, well, like um, off of Poshmark, and I got it for I think a really good deal, especially for a Kiki K planner. So yes, that has been my favorites because I decided to go into Rainbound, a uh, Rainbound system because this year, oh my gosh, I had a planner that was like dated. And it was to the point where I wasn't using the dates. Like, what were we doing? Like, for real. Like, we were doing nothing. At least this one I can add my, like, undated inserts and plan out my days when I want to. So, yes, that is a favorite. So, the next favorites are, have to do with, like, food type of things. That I've also been loving since we've been staying at home. This one being this air popcorn popper. It is dusty. I have it saying, like, on my bookshelf. <laughs> I should have dusted it off before starting this video, but it's been real. I've been using this a lot. And this is the um, West Bend Air Crazy Popcorn Popper. I got this at Target. It was pretty reasonable. I think I paid like 20 bucks um, for it. It's an air popcorn popper. All you do is put in the seeds in here, turn it on, and that's all you need. 
So I've been loving this. And to go with that, I've been using this Oval Redenbacher Original Seeds. This is my second thing, like my second tub. And I'm gonna be starting this new one of this. So I finished the other one. I went through the seeds, the other thing of seeds faster than I went through this butter. This is the Oval Redenbacher Popping and Topping Butter. Um, if you do have a popper that's not an air popper and it's like one you have to put like a grease or something down, I mean you can use this butter to put on your seeds and then pop your popcorn. But with the air popper you don't need that. So what I was saying is I went through the seeds faster than I went through the butter. So I'm starting, I already started this new butter, which it looks like I haven't used any, but realistically I already went through one. Um, so I've been loving those. Whew getting winded now okay so that is all of my favorites i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you have any suggestions for me please leave them in the comment section especially for popcorn i've been looking at toppings and different stuff like that i've been getting you know like really into wanting to test that and also k cups what k cups have you guys been loving because i do have a curie but sitting right there that I have been using also I also bought filters from Amazon which I highly suggest um I'll maybe do like an Amazon favorites video where I share like my Amazon favorites because I've been buying stuff off of Amazon but anyways um other than that make sure you thumbs this video up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys